New do, dead you. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bayonetta 2. I am your host, unfortunately for you, Royal Crest. And in the last episode, we took on Chapter 13, Vigrid City of Deja Vu. Now in this episode, we're going to be taking on Chapter 14, The Witch Hunts. Uh, we do have a decent amount of money, so I'm going to be grabbing some stuff from the shop. Alright, so here in the shop, I think I just want to see if we can buy another... Moon Pearl or Witch Heart. We can buy a Witch Heart, so we'll just buy that to up our health just a little bit. Um, not that I think we'll need it particularly much, but still just good to have. Uh, do we have one more technique to buy? I th no, wait, we bought we bought everything, okay. I've kind of forgotten what we have and have not bought yet. We have still have yet to buy any of the alternate weapons to let us equip a weapon in both the hands and the feet at the same time, but frankly, I rarely ever run both weapons in the hand and feet slot except for love is blue so it's not that big of a deal to me um but yeah that's that's it here all right so let's just go ahead and get started into the chapter there is one all time in chapter 14 that we need to worry about so we'll be able to keep an eye out for that Alright, so here we are. We are in the Umbran Armor, uh, the Great War of 500 Years Past. So this is kind of an interesting uh, section, because we have a dead angel. <laughs> um, but we also have access to the Umbran Armor, which is sort of a, a strange aside to the normal gameplay. It, 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 it's a giant mech. That, that's, that's literally all it is, is a giant mech. Um, we did get to play a little bit of with this in the uh, records of time or whatever, like the very beginning sequence, um, where basically we have just massive amounts of firepower and we can just shoot. Um, still got bullet climax, firing bullets, um, but I think on the leg it fires a missile. Yeah. So it is slightly different. I'm not really sure there's much of a combo system. I think there's maybe like a three hit combo. Or something like that. Still dodge though, so that's good. You just have to beat up all of these stinking balloons. I have much more health than I imagined. Uh, I do think you can still dodge to get um, which time. It's just the stagger. The stagger potential on the Umbered Armor is, like, insane. So, you know, you, you have plenty of, uh, opportunity to do so, to, uh, to, uh, mess things up. There we go. It does have a little bit of a, a, a heal slide potential in there, so that's interesting. Um, but it does... It, it, it it's... It... I mean, I will. I will say it is probably the best iteration of a vehicle segment in the in the game. For the fact it doesn't really change up the core gameplay all too much, so I can give it a pass in that regard. Um, there is there is the all time is verse three, so we need to keep an eye out for it. Uh, we got some kinships on the way. Uh, we just need to keep an eye out for where everything is. Okay, hi. I did not realize. I can't see what's going on in these alleyways. It's too narrow. There is a laurel over there, so I'll take that, I guess. Um, that's verse two. Oh, there. What does my note say? To the right of large door. That's where the first source is, so. So this is still verse two, so we should be alright. We do get to see the some new enemies from Bayo 2 uh, show up in the past, so that's interesting. 
So it's not like the angels just evolved since the first game or whatever, which would be kind of weird to think that they wouldn't after 500 years, you know? Since, like, technically in Mario 1, like, you still fight the same angels. Alright, let's just get... Let's just get these guys dead, please. Okay, here we go. We got some big guys. Come on. Come on. My friend. Where did... Where did what's her face go? Where did our buddy go? She kind of... She kind of left us after that. Okay, so... The next Alfheim should be showing up. There is a... Little little goodie for us to uh, collect over here. Although, do I have to walk all? Do I have to walk up the steps or something? Oh right, I can double jump. <laughs> I completely forgot that I can double jump. That's that's. I'm just a little stupid. Please forgive me. I'm just a little stupid. I just want to make sure. That I don't miss the Alfheim. The new Spellheim, I should say. There's a Nerve Lollipop. Okay, so <laughs> worrying for nothing, the new Spellheim is completely within our range. Oh, and we get to do this in Umbran Armor. Okay, that's interesting. I honestly kind of forgot about this. Uh, so we have to defeat enemies to earn time. So we just gotta focus on one guy and just keep firing. But frankly, we can just more or less tear through these guys. Unfortunately, the one unfortunate thing about the Umbran armor I find is that the most effective uh, combo is to just. Okay, ow. We're not making that. Okay, that's... Okay, so duly noted, I gotta do a little bit more damage a little bit more quickly. Alright, we'll, we'll, we'll try that again. We'll give that another go. I think part of my problem is that I just wasn't focusing enough on one person. Um, but the... I guess just using the basic punch combo... Wow, that dealt a lot of damage very quickly. Yeah, that does a lot of damage. Yeah, that's actually surprisingly effective. Uh, we just want to make sure we don't uh, waste too much damage or waste waste too much time getting hit. Um, but other than that, that's actually not that bad. That's actually pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All things considered. All right. And we got another Broken Moon Pearl piece, which I believe makes a whole nother Moon Pearl piece. So we've got two extra bars, so we're almost to a third full gauge, which I believe is the cap. So we're doing... We're actually... We're we are doing very good. I think you can buy two more in the Gates of Hell. I think the price goes up by like 20,000 Halos each time, and like it's... I think the maximum of the most expensive one is like 90,000 or something, so... Can't just punch it open. I have to open it. Okay, that's why. Okay, we just gotta make sure we are tearing through these guys. Okay, what's going on here? <laughs> yeah, mess them up, mess them up. Good deal, good deal. I wonder if you get anything from beating everyone up. Well, he's dead. Probably not, it's probably just like halos and stuff. Come on, please. Show me the goodies. Okay, 
we just knocked this guy. Oh man, he got caught on nothing. Alright, well he's okay, rude. Rude rude. Okay, I felt like I was Okay, maybe maybe I was a little early on that one. We don't really get much. I guess that's just clearing a verse in case you are trying to get pure platinum. Just just another thing to kind of mess you up. <laughs> because that's the one thing Bayo loves to do. Just throw these really random out, out of nowhere verses to throw people out of the uh, score potential. Also, my stinking controller is messing up again, and this is arguably worse because... Oh, there you are. Let's go. Was that a treasure chest? Yes. It's just a lollipop. No big deal. Alright. What's going on here? Oh, uh, what were you? You're not... You're not... You're not justice and you're not temperance. Are you... Are you... I'm not sure what you are. You're either... Ugh, oh, making me waste my upper climax. Um, okay, hi. Uh, I wanna say this guy is either prudent? No, I don't think so. No, it's Sapiens. You're Sapiens. That's what you are. That's your name, you're Sapiens. Because you're, you're Sapiens in between good and evil or something like that. In the choice between good and evil. That's your theme song, I remember. I know my band at a lore. I promise me. I promise you, I am good at this game because I- Okay. I'm good at this game. I'm good at this game. Don't you forget it. Don't you forget it. <laughs> okay. Rotating. Oh, missed that. All right, good deal. flying section because of course we do. Uh, I'm not, I feel like, how does, have these guys been, I feel like these guys have been introduced, right? These, these things are called warships, which I think is actually a really good pun, so I'm actually, I, I, I applaud the Bayonetta devs for coming up with that. That's actually a really good name. Because, you know, it's a funny pun on warship and warship. Oh my god, that is horrifying. It's like I'm watching the uh, freaking Tremors or something with Reba McIntyre. Okay, hi, I am taking damage. Please, my friend. Okay, there we go. Come on, Fang. Why aren't you taking damage? There we go. I felt like I was doing a pretty good amount of damage, but I wasn't doing damage. Okay. I see how it is, just... just... I thought you were revealing your weak point to me, but sure, okay, that's, that's fun. Punch him, punch him. Almost. Come on. Stop running away, you little coward. Come on. Just let me just let me beat you up. Is that so hard? So close. Why are you afraid of letting me hit you? 
Are you afraid you'll die? Yeah, that's a valid concern, honestly. <laughs> Rip Bozo. Oh, your justice. Or maybe your Iosthesia, because that's like the Latin name or something. You know, you're probably by far my least favorite thinking. You are by far the worst person I've ever met on Toontown. Please get out of my face. Oh joy, we get a we gonna just punch the, the freaking jawbreaker. That's so cool. I don't even know what's going on at this point. I'm just occasionally pressing the dodge button and somehow I'm I'm hitting it at the right time. Okay, I got headbutted. That's so cool. Please. Okay, I'm I'm having an acid trip. Okay. Apparently, that's how that works. Okay, Umbrin Climax and the armor kind of sucks, because, like, I feel like... I'm not sure if that's really anything to do with the actual Umbrin Climax itself, or if it's just a flaw with this level design because the enemies pull away, pull away from you so fast. Ah, uh, Zero Seven. Interesting segment. And yeah, that is the chapter. Just we go into a mech and we fight a bunch of angels. <laughs> um, you know, it's 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 it's, it's, a, it's certainly a chapter. I can't say it's my favorite one, but there are certainly worse ones. I'm looking at you, Route Six Sixty Six. <laughs> We also got a new accessory called the Earrings of Ruin. If I remember correctly, those just let you summon the Umbran Armor in place of the Umbran Climax. So if you, for whatever reason, liked that chapter, you can now use it in other chapters, so. We also got more verse cards, so that's cool. And yeah, that's a pretty short chapter. It's pretty straightforward. Um, but anyway, that's going to be it for this episode, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this content, leave a like, maybe consider subscribing, or leave a comment, whatever feels good for you. And with that, I will see you guys in the next episode where we take on Chapter 15, Truth. See you guys then. Mm -hmm.